this week, we're diving into my win at the Australian Logger Titles, a crazy week with some hectic waves and heavy competition. I also have an announcement to make at the end of the video that you guys will be the very first to hear about, so stay tuned. I'm Ben Considine, and this is the Sunday Ben Considine, Victoria. He is the 2022 Australian Logger Champion. guys so pretty exciting one this week um so we're just coming back from the uh doing a little roadie back from the australian title so it's why we're in the car here what i wanted to do this week is to give you a bit of a rundown as to how the week went uh what the comp was like and i suppose give you a bit of a journey through uh what it was like competing all the way to, to the end result it was pretty tricky conditions actually um we had it was probably about four to five foot um at north haven which was a, a break i haven't really surfed in a long time the predominant wave was a, a pretty uh, punchy right hand so it wasn't really conducive to your, your, I guess your typical log conditions um, so it was a little bit of a challenge that everyone had to, to battle through the yeah, level of surfing was insane and um, everyone competing uh, was yeah at a super high level so that was really really good to see and made it super entertaining I've been coming to nationals uh, ever since I was a, a grom really really good to be back each year the, the level of competition is super super high and this year was no different so a lot goes into doing well at these events you can kind of feel like you're doing everything right in the lead up to the event um, doing your training and uh, trying to surf similar waves and all of that but the thing is with surfing competitions is sometimes it doesn't go your way even if you have been doing everything right in the lead up um, just because of the variable conditions and everything that can happen but they're pretty hard to come by so um, I was definitely stoked with the result so let's get into the contest and I guess how that went so um, the conditions were pretty tricky um, it, we were at a beach break kind of breaking off a little bit of a rock wall um, and yeah the, there was a bit of swell I guess the waves weren't super conducive to your typical logging or, or longboard waves being I guess that size and the waves are fairly punchy as well also a little bit tricky can in the conditions to uh, find those ones that linked through so um, everyone had their work cut out for them and it was uh, pretty tricky but this just added to how important wave selection was for the contest as well now in the early rounds um, I was feeling uh, like it was a little bit tricky um, I was feeling a little bit out of rhythm and difficulty I guess linking the waves through properly as I was just mentioning I uh, luckily managed to find my way through uh, the first few heats which was good um, I was initially surfing that brown board so the, the more refined uh, railed one but I was having a little bit of difficulty um, I chose to surf this board because I think it's a little bit more dynamic off the tail which can help in the, the more challenging conditions but I just I did find that I was uh, uh, maybe a little less comfortable on the waves uh, given the bigger conditions um, and I had been surfing potentially the, the pink board a little bit more prior to the contest so that might have had something to do with it as well but what I ended up doing was I actually decided to uh, change my board coming up into the semis I don't usually like to make these big changes through a contest just because I'm a little bit of a creature of habit um, and I do like to make sure that things are pretty consistent all the way through but I as I say you can't expect different results if you're doing the same thing so I wasn't really happy with how I was surfing uh, in the contest up until this point and so I I think I needed to change things up a little bit. So through the semi, um, I actually changed up onto that pink board, which you would have seen me ride a bunch of times and actually felt a really, really good difference. Unexpectedly, I thought that the brown board with the dynamic turning would be a little bit better for me, but I think the stability on the nose that I was able to get with the pink board was something um, that just allowed me to surf and uh, perform on those waves in more critical sections and just more confidently as well. So um, I ended up taking that out in the uh, semi and that went really well. Um, I actually felt like I was able to link through my maneuvers a little bit better and get a little bit more critical. Um, and so that went well and I was actually able to lead myself into the final with that, which I was stoked with. I uh, went into the final and I used my pink board and I had a pretty good wave off the bat so that helped to set up the, the pace for the final fortunately. After that I was just trying to get a little bit of a backup score but was having a little bit of difficulty finding that one that really linked through. Again, same sort of problems and issues that I'd been having. Um, given the amount of surfing that I'd done over the past uh, couple of days, we had to do some runarounds um, given the just the way the break was set up and I was pretty tired with all of that. Um, but pushed through that, managed to, to get a few towards the end 
of the final. Um, it was a little bit nerve wracking. Um, I know the other competitors could get the score that they needed um, if they had the right waves. So I was fortunate to have priority in the, the last few minutes and just tried to, I guess, play a little bit of a, a tactical game and uh, try and get myself into the right position to make sure that I was on the best wave that came through um, to, I guess, extend my lead out a little bit, which um, towards the, the last moments of the final, I was able to get a nice last one, which helped to extend my lead, which was really, really good. Given how the comp had gone up until to this point, where I wasn't feeling super confident and super, uh, I guess, reliable on my board, I was um, stoked with how it all turned out. And I wasn't really going into the final expecting all that much. So um, I remember I was uh, on my last wave and the, the hooter went and it was just a bit of a, a surreal feeling, uh, to be honest. It was, um, you know, it's, it's a really hard thing to work towards. And I've done nationals, as I said before, for, for many, many years. Um, and to, to come away with one this year um, was, was epic and um, just super, super grateful. Something I really, really did want to say as well is just how much I appreciate the support from everyone watching here. It's a cool journey to go on since having started uh, the channel and uh, to come up into this point and um, the support that you guys do give me uh, means a lot. And so I'm really, really appreciative of that. And I'm super grateful to be able to share this with you as well. And I guess after a few days of being able to reflect on this as well. I've been working really hard towards stuff like this over the last little bit as I've kind of, I guess, documented on this uh, on the channel as well. There's a lot that goes into it and it does require a lot of dedication and persistence. Even the last few days, I had some tricky moments in heats that I had to push through, make some difficult decisions, and I guess push myself through some difficult moments, but I'm really, really happy, I guess, at where I'm at at the moment and to be taking this journey as well. Now, uh, just speaking a little bit about the, I guess, the announcement that I mentioned at the start, we're about one to two weeks off actually having the clothing up and ready to go. We're going to be uh, launching the Glide Surf Collective. What we're really excited about doing is support the surfing community and culture in as many ways as we can. Um, so really excited to get this uh, up and started. We do have an Instagram at the moment. Uh, it's called the Glide Surf Collective. We'll link that in the description below. So if you want to check that out, you're more than welcome to. As I said, the clothing uh, should be along in about one to two weeks time everyone that's already contacted me um, I'll be getting back in touch and we can get that up and running and the website will be up and running soon as well but can't wait to get things moving again thanks to everyone for your support I um, really really wouldn't be able to do it without you I think that's it for today um, hope you guys are getting waves and we'll see you on the next one you.